I said I would do this in the next video. So here we are, I'm doing it. In case you're wondering what exactly I'm gonna be doing in this video today, I'm going to attempt to apply my false lashes. And I'm doing this because in my last video, I said that I would do this in the next video. I would attempt to put false lashes on. Now, keep in mind that I've only been using these lashes a couple of times. Maybe this will be my fifth time. So I have lashes like these, but the ones I'm using today are cut in half, so they're only gonna go on the outer corner of my eye. And I don't know if I'm crazy, but we're going to, uh, I'm going to apply these while I'm talking to you guys. Um, so yeah, I don't, I really don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to put the other lash right there. Hopefully I will be successful at this or this will just end up being an epic fail type video, which, you know, if it happens, it happens. So I'm using, um, the duo clear white lash glue and I'm just putting it on the band here, let's see if I can get some of this out. I found that cutting these in half, sorry, I'm just concentrating. I found that cutting these in half really helps. I did put some liner on my eyes and mascara already because I noticed that also really helps. The liner I, I heard helps so that, you know, the band I mean, even though the band on this is not really all that thick, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the band. It's not really thick. Just letting that kind of set for a minute. Now, I'm not a pro at this, you guys. I am, um, I'm not a pro at this whatsoever. Like I said, this is probably my fourth or fifth time doing this. But I made a promise that I would try to apply my lashes on camera. So here we are, we're doing it. Am I nervous? Yes. Okay. Now I know everybody does this a little bit differently. I need, I'm trying to find a mirror. All right, we're gonna use a Huda Beauty. This way I can look down. So I'm gonna be looking down as I do this. <laughs> wow. Well. So, one second. Normally this doesn't, it's not that difficult. But I think I got glue on me now, so I am going to use my little tweezers here because I think that's going to help me. Okay, there's a bit of glue there, but that's okay. Ouch. I may have used a little too much, but that's okay. Right, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. But it's on. Hang on, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, and we're gonna go ahead and do the other lash. I can't believe I actually managed to put that on on camera. Let's try to do the other one. Now I'm like, I'm like, I can. Oh, I thought I thought it like completely fell to the floor. Yeah, you probably just saw like the biggest facial expression, like, oh, like oh, shoot. All right, let's put some glue. I need to know from you guys, how do you clean the lashes? Can these be like, can you soak them in something? Because 
these here I've been wearing quite a bit. Quite a bit. I just want to do this like that. I really have found that using a little liner and putting mascara on your normal lashes really helps for the false lash to kind of get settled in the lower lash line here. I mean the lower lash line. It just helps to kind of get it to stick on the lash line here. So this is on really good. And that's still kind of very tacky. So I'm just letting that dry. I'm going to put my hair back a little bit. And I'm going to grab my mirror. And let's go ahead and do it. So they suggest that you, from what I learned, I say they, what I learned, is look, put your eye down, look down, use a mirror. See, the problem is this seems sticking. She's sticking. Okay, let's try that again. I think because my tweezers have some glue on them. Oh lordy. I always struggle with this eye. Give me one second. Okay, so I had to take it off because I didn't put enough glue and the inner corner was kind of sticking up. So I'm bringing a little bit more glue. But this one has already dried. I love these lashes. All right, let me let this set and I'll be right back. That way I don't keep you here while I'm trying to get this glue to dry down a little bit. Okay, I managed to get it on. I may have put too much glue on my eyes. Keep in mind, I'm new to this. I did do this, like I used eyelashes a couple of years ago. I think a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago. But that's okay, I'm just gonna let this kind of dry down. I think I got it on. And for this one, I'm just going to use the tweezers. Kind of just use my hand instead. I just push them down. Oh, they're so nice. I gotta let this one dry down though. I don't really know what to do when you get the excess glue here. I might just put a little eyeshadow there once it dries. And I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. But I want to know, if you know, I know some of you probably will know, how to clean these false lashes. Can I soak them in something? And how many times can you wear them before you have to throw them out? Give me one minute. I'm just going to try to see if I can clean up this little glue spot here, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I got the lashes on. I just put a little eyeshadow right here over where that little white glue spot was right there. They are so stunning. And I am using the... Let me put the lid on my glue here so it doesn't dry out. And I am using the Ardell Professional Deluxe Pack. And they come with two pairs of lashes, the adhesive and the lash applicator. Now, it comes with this little applicator. This doesn't help me. What helps me, actually, instead, is to use my tweezers. And I have the tweezers here somewhere, I think. I'm trying to see if I can find them. This helps me. And I saw a lot of people recommend using tweezers over this little annoying little applicator because, I don't know, I just didn't find this to help me whatsoever. So, yeah, that doesn't help. Tweezers help. And see, just let them dry down for a few minutes. You can put um, mascara on these. I'm not going to do that. I feel like I have enough mascara on these lashes. But, yeah. So... I did it. I did it. Oh my god. I, I actually just threw lashes on while filming. I was kind of 
worried that it wasn't going to work. And I did have a little bit of a problem with the left eye, but I always, since I've been doing this for the past, I guess, five times now, I find that the left eye is more difficult to apply the lashes to. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm left-handed. I don't know. I don't know. But they're on. So that's it. That's it for this look. Definitely, I really, I mean, I haven't tried any other brand. Um, and I did this like a year ago, a year and a half. I even used the Ardell's back then. So I feel like the Ardell's, if you're wanting to try to do lashes, I feel like this brand, Ardell, is the best one to start off, start off by using. And, um, you know, I didn't know until recently that you can actually trim them, cut them in half. And me personally, I feel like just putting them here on the outer corner instead of the full lash line is just better for me. I just like it. You know, just need a little bit of dramatic, you know, just a little, just a little volume, a little dramatic there. I like that. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I'm very happy that I successfully managed to put the lashes on. And I think I will be doing this every time I do a makeup look. When I'm filming, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, apply these while I'm filming. I'm, you know, why not? Practice makes perfect. I'm just gonna say that. Practice makes perfect. The first time, it took me about a half an hour to figure this out, how to uh, get them on correctly and to keep them on. So, if you're new, don't struggle. Don't, don't get stressed out. Practice makes perfect. If I can do it, so can you. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and I will be sharing, I won't be sharing any photos, I was going to say, well I'll share photos of the lashes, okay, and you know, I, I always say at the end of the video, I'm going to share photos of this look, I'm going to share photos of these lashes, so be on the lookout for that and like I said, give this video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, comment and share. And if you're into everything beauty, and I mean everything beauty, be sure to turn on your notification bell. It looks like a bell. That way, you'll get updated whenever I put a new video up. See you guys really soon. Bye.